Hello, I'm Brownfield Anchor Reporter Megan Grebner. With us is Craig Breckus with UPL. We are working on our Managing for Profit, uh, a content partnership with UPL on Brownfield. Craig, let's start first with a little bit about UPL and, and what it does. Well, UPL's been around for 50 years. Um, we're, a, we're an Indian-based company. We've been in the crop, protection, crop protection business for many years, um, primarily in the post-patent space. I think today, uh, through our purpose of open ag, we're, tr- we're really transforming and, and challenging the status quo. You know, we look at that platform and that purpose around um, driving uh, partnerships, collaboration, innovation, um, beyond just our traditional post-patent space. Talk to me a little bit about, uh, you mentioned open ag. We talk a little bit about research and development. Talk a little bit about what UPL does and its commitment to R&D. Yeah, that, that certainly is the change. Today, you know, you have a lot of companies that look at research from a discovery standpoint. I think one of the opportunities for UPL is to flip that around. And so we've built out over the last two years a very strong team at the, at the ground level, technical individuals, t- uh, R&D people, salespeople that are working in our core crops and understanding what growers are really needing and challenged by today. That's the first thing, recognizing uh, what's a challenge. And then we're taking that information. We're really focusing uh, on specific crops, specific challenges, and then going and looking for solutions through our partnerships. You know, that is open egg, open collaboration. And so, you know, around the globe, we're doing things that... uh, could address these solutions. And so, for example, in the last year, through our Open Ag Center in Raleigh, North Carolina, which is a global facility, we've vetted over 100 technologies, and we've identified 20 that have a lot of potential to address um, challenges that growers are facing today in the United States. When you look at what Open Ag does and the goals, what where, where is it headed and where does agriculture need to go into uh, the future to, to continue to grow and to develop? Well, I, I definitely think it starts about innovation. You know, if you think about the challenges of today, I mean, we're in constant change and growers are addressed with not only pest issues and crop protection issues, they're, they're, they're challenged by crop production issues. And so for us, you know, it's, we have three platforms. And so when you look at the post-patent space, how we differentiate our portfolio on differentiated solutions that address specific grower challenges, and then our, our uh, sustainable solutions platform, which is our new, pro- new company, Natural Plant Protection, looking at biological solutions that may help with crop production. So I think, you know, for, for us as an industry, we have to take a look at the total crop, look at integrated solutions, look at innovation, that, that help growers address a lot of their concerns. When you look at what UPL is doing and, and where it's headed, what is new for 2023 and what are you excited about? Well, we started down this journey, this open egg purpose and looking at differentiation and sustainability a couple of years ago. And so it's going to be a couple of, it's going to be an exciting couple of years ahead of us. We'll be launching over 50 brands here in North America, both Canada and the U.S., in the next 24 months. And so that could be anywhere from an almond crop to a corn and soybean, could be a biological solution, a differentiated solution, or a post-patent solution. So we've got a lot of exciting things ahead for us to, uh, that uh, you know address a lot of the challenges that growers are facing. Why is it so important? We talked a little bit about that, that open ag and, and that research and, and development. For you to invest in there, how does that benefit farmers in the long run? Well, I, I think that it, it focuses on their problem. You know, often a lot solutions are developed that don't necessarily address growers' challenges. And so when you start with what's happening in reality, then you're able to make sure that you're focusing the resources on the right thing. I think when you look, like we talk a lot about sustainability, for example, like our purpose, reimagining sustainability, it's different for UPL. You know, we look at that based in reality. And so you you could look at our post-patent space, and one of the things I'm most proud about is that UPL has invested in capacity for the last 10 years to make sure we can produce the products that growers need year over year, 
season after season. And so that's important. That's sustainable, you know, for them to make sure they have economical solutions. At the same time, you have to treat your R&D that way. You have to think about, okay, how can you deliver on the things that they need year in, year out? And for me, it's really looking at um, your research and development being very pragmatic. And so, you know, the big part of the biosolution bio space, for example, you know, it's about being um, uh, defendable. You know, the, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of caution around that space today. And so when we put a solution in the marketplace and we make a recommendation, we have to deliver it in a way that retailers and growers can count on it. And so that's, to me, um, built this whole uh, proof statement around sustainability. Craig, anything else? No, thank you very much for your time. Thank you for joining us today. I'm Megan Grabner with Managing for Profit, a content partnership with UPL on Brownfield.